Welcome to Wearviews. Before we start with the video, please provide your feedback in the comments below. And if you like to see more of these videos, please subscribe. We break our review into three parts in this video. We first view their website and talk about the details of the underwear, then we look closely at the underwear itself and see how things work. Lastly, our model will wear the underwear and show you how it fits. Let's start off with their website. Joe Cinder offers underwear in bikinis, briefs, jockstraps, thongs, trunks, and boy shorts. Other body accessories and enhancers are available if you are looking for a way to show off your asset. We won't go through the wide range of collections, and it's a bit confusing where this pair falls under. Not sure what is the difference, but the Joe Snyder collection menu makes more sense to me. I believe this pair we are reviewing is under the boy shorts style. You can see they have a lot of underwear, and some are offered in see-through styles. The cheek boxer is offered in 15 different colors, and the one we are reviewing is called blue jeans. They are offered in four sizes, small, medium, large and extra large. Make sure you review the size charts before buying as they tend to be one size smaller. The sizes ranged from 28 to 38 inches or 74 to 93 centimeter. According to the website these cheek boxer are made with 80% nylon and 20% lycra, however, on the tag of the underwear, it says 78% polyester and 22% elastane. Let's add it to the card and wait for the shipment. Let's look closely at the this pair of boxer. You can see that it's a very small pair of underwear when you compare it to trunks or boxer briefs. The half-inch waistband is covered with the fabric and has the Joe Snyder logo on a fabric in the front middle. All the stitches are flat where it is connects to the waistband, one in the back and three in the front middle. Look at the pouch area. You can see three stitches that connect the panels together and a U-shaped stitch that create a contour pouch to allow your package to sit into. The middle stitch connections from the front all the way to the back which is aligned with your butt crack. The middle stitch goes all the way from the front to the back which is aligned to your butt crack. Let's flip over the underwear. Looking at the back, you can see the white fabric which is smooth with the center butt crack flat stitch. The front is a little more complex. The three flat stitches create the pouch area with a U-shaped superimposed stitch that creates the pouch. The superimposed stitch may cause some rubbing if you are sensitive down there. This underwear does not have a fly, but the low waist does give you easy access when you need to get to it. I personally feel that this pair is not as tight as the mini cheek mesh peekaboo boxer I previously reviewed. We now position the underwear from a top view so that you can see how it will look like if you were to wear them. We put them down so you can get a final look before we show you how the underwear looks like when our model put them on. The underwear has a very low waistband and our model says that it actually starts just above the, the base of his penis. You will have to manscape a lot to make it look clean. The pouch area is not big, average size guys will find it big enough and well endowed guys will find it too small. As we mimic walking, everything seems to hold in place well. To understand more on our views please visit our site to read the written review on this pair of underwear. Your comments is critical to help us improve our videos and is welcome. Visit our site for many honest reviews of men's underwear with nothing to hide. Follow and like us on Facebook or Instagram to get up-to-date reviews from our team. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get up-to-date videos that complement our reviews. See you again next time.